The Reef Life Survey is an initiative of the Tasmanian Aquaculture and Fisheries Institute, or TAFI, which is a joint venture between the University of Tasmania and the Tasmanian State Government. The aim of the survey is to provide information on species diversity and population densities over time on Australia's coastal reefs. Resources for marine conservation and management programs are limited and rigorous scientific data about the state of the marine environment around the country is required to allocate funding most effectively and to monitor the outcomes of the management decisions which have already been implemented. This is where the scientists and volunteers who participate in the Reef Life Survey come in. Dr Rick Stewart-Smith from Taffy and his colleagues put 13 volunteer divers through an intense five-day training program in February 2008 in Jarvis Bay on the liveaboard dive vessel Ocean Trek. It's better to stay within the reef, stay five metres inside the reef when you're laying out than, uh, and, and change the depth. The first buddy is going to swim out uh, the transect line while the second one follows taking photo equipment. Because you have to get one in about you know, between 10 and 15 metres somewhere and then the next one in at about five metres. The crew aboard Ocean Trek made the training course run particularly smoothly, especially from a diving point of view. Providing transport from the liveaboard vessel to specific locations along suitable reefs so that divers could be well spread out to practice their new skills at a range of depths. The technique involves one diver laying a 50 metre tape along a depth contour while their buddy swims along behind taking photo quadrats at defined intervals along the tape. These are later analysed to determine average seaweed cover. Next, each diver swims 50 metres back along the tape, recording the names, number and sizes of all fish observed within a 5 metre strip along their side of the tape. Finally, each diver returns along the tape, recording the identity and number of key invertebrate species in a 1 metre strip on their side of the tape. Tricky organisms can be photographed and a description written on the slate for later identification. A key part of the process is that each volunteer diver watches the scientists modelling the techniques during training dives. Later, the experts follow along behind and compare volunteers, fish and invertebrate data with their own. Making sure that species are correctly identified is very important and many hours are spent during training comparing notes and photographs taken underwater with expert descriptions. Oh, there's a rainbow tail, by the way. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Here. And there's the herring tail. Yeah all of which still leaves plenty of time for fun. The survey has the potential to become a valuable tool in the collection and collation of a large amount of scientifically rigorous data to assist in marine conservation and management. Thanks to the Commonwealth Environmental Research Funding Program and the volunteers and scientists who participate for making it possible.